Well, welcome back. We've got, well, we all got that one friend who prepares for holidays a bit too early and might even think about, be thinking about Christmas already. I literally have a person in my mind. You know who uh -huh. I'm thinking about? Oh, yeah. You, know, you don't know who I'm thinking about. <laughs> but as the clip in the WNDU vault shows us, there are some people who have a pretty good reason to start thinking about the holiday season early. For most of us, tis not the season to be jolly just yet. But right now is the time to seriously think about Christmas if you are a Christmas tree grower. For instance, before you can trim a tree in your home this December, they've got some trimming to do here in the fields. But by bringing the knife across the body, it naturally sets the shape. Some 250 professionals from nine states came to Walkerton today for a Christmas tree growers convention. They shared secrets on how to shear both the hard way and the easy way. Well, on the shearing, you've got a, um, about a month in the uh, summertime uh, after the new growth has come out to shear to shape the tree and so it gets tighter. For a full-time Christmas tree uh, grower, why uh, there's always something to do just like any other type of farming. Tree growers must battle insects, disease, and weeds to come up with a healthy product that will compete with its synthetic counterpart, the artificial Christmas tree. But that's not to say that growers use only natural means to maintain a competitive edge. Many spray their trees with this product, which basically dyes the tree deeper green. And although these farmers put in a lot of hard work to raise their unusual crop, it does give them more than just monetary rewards. It's definitely a family uh a deal, you know, to come out and buy a tree or go anywhere and buy a tree. And uh, to see the smiling faces, especially on the little kids, just makes you feel good all over. Reporting from Walkerton, Mark Peterson, New Center 16. Wow, that's, that's our Peterson. that's our Mark Peterson yeah, yeah, yeah. with the with the stash I though. I, I I just for the life of me, I can't I can't figure out the person who hired him. Oh wait, that was it me. Was it you? <laughs> <laughs> a long time ago. Mark's a great, great reporter, and uh, he came from radio background. You can tell by oh, his wow. voice. Oh wow, yeah, so, yeah, that does make sense. Yeah, but uh, trimming Christmas trees is a big deal. Are you are you like? holiday ready do you get ready early or are you just kind of like yeah, or do you let I, the missus do it I, i'm a procrastinator yeah I, I put things off to the last second so i'll put christmas decorations out like on christmas eve oh no no, oh, no, I'm no. but it, but it, it, it's yeah i'm 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 one of those people that yeah i'm i'm slow i heard one time a teacher taught said uh procrastination and murphy's law are kindred spirits yeah so after i heard that i kind of was like maybe it's not procrastinating too much i yeah. don't i don't i haven't done a full christmas de yeah. decor i've done the meal but yeah. not the whole decor thing. So I think one of the reasons I wait so long is because it's it's kind of depressing to me when all the Christmas decorations get put up at Halloween. You know, I mean, it's it's gotten earlier and earlier and earlier, and I'd rather wait. You're till like, it's hold off. We have other yeah. holidays before. It's probably already stuff yeah. in the right. store. Honestly, watch. Oh, we just serious. said this, and watch us go to the store and see Christmas oh, stuff. Absolutely, there is.